Hello everyone, this is Wilson here. Let's look at another limit problem. This limit problem is also another limit at infinity. So as you can see that x is approaching like the infinity and we want to see what this function is approaching to. Okay, so now um, as you can see that if you have seen my other videos, I actually have done a few videos and with a really similar looking function, um, they're all rational functions and I was letting x approach uh, infinity, right? And so in the, uh, the reason for why I'm doing this several videos is really because I want to show uh, different situations at infinity. And we want to see how the degree for the numerator and the degree for the denominator, assuming that it's a rational function, how those degrees can actually affect the result for the function. Okay, so now this is another one that we are looking at. And this time we actually have a degree in the numerator that's larger than the degree, that's higher than the degree for the denominator. So now let's see what's going on. Uh, the usual strategy is really, again, to factor the highest power of x and see what's going on. So let's do that. So first, we are going to start by factoring out um, the x cubed from the numerator. Okay, so you can see that that's the highest power of x. And so if we factor that out, then we are going to be getting what? We are going to be getting the 7 here. And then for the second turn, because we factor all the x cubed, so we are having a x square in the denominator. So it will be 1 over x square. Okay. And then plus, uh, because there was no x right here. So when we factor all the x cubed, we are going to be getting 2 over x cubed. Okay. So that's our numerator. Mm -hmm. And denominator, it's the same situation, right? Same idea for the denominator. So if we factor out the x square, which is the highest power for the denominator, because the, the bottom is a quadratic, right? So we have the x square, and then we factor out the x square, we get 2. And then minus, okay, so we factor out the x square from the, uh, the 5x, right? The negative 5x, we are getting 5 over x and then minus 6 over x squared okay um it's always a good idea to do a quick check by just imagine that you are distributing the x cube back to each turn inside the parentheses same thing for the bottom so that you can see that whether we have factor uh, each turn correctly right so make sure that you do that before you continue with the problem. Okay, so um, right now we can do a little bit of uh, the reducing for the x cubed and the x squared. Um, why are we doing that? Because we want to simplify into a uh, new limit problem that's easier to deal with, right? So let's do that. Um, we are going to cancel out the x squared right here. So the x squared is gone. And then the x cubed, because it has one extra copy of the x. So when you reduce the x squared, when you divide top and the bottom by x squared, you are going to turn it into a x to the first. Okay, now what about the other stuff? The other stuff is just, um, we can do each one separately. Okay, so we can do it on the side. As x approaching negative infinity, then what happens? Then we can look at each one. Um, let's look at this one first. This is negative 1 over x squared. So if we look at the, actually, we can just ignore the sign for now. We can simply just, um, just look at that 1 over x squared right here. So the 1 over x squared is approaching now. It's approaching 0. As you can see, the top is just a 1, but the bottom is x squared. So when x is approaching negative infinity, x squared is approaching positive infinity. So we are actually getting um, a 0 here. Okay, So this fraction is approaching 0. Now, the next one, next one, next one is this 2 over x cubed. Same situation here, also approaching 0. Okay, what about this 5 over x? Same situation again. So 5 over x, also approaching 0. And then what about this 6 over x squared? Same situation again. So 6 over x squared, also approaching 0. Okay, so they're all approaching 0 here. So now, what do we have here? 
Um, okay, so I didn't put down the seven and the two here because they are just seven and two. But there was one thing that I'm missing here, which is just this X that I forgot about. This X, we also need to see what it's approaching to. Um, what is X approaching to? X is actually approaching to that X, right? That X is actually approaching to negative infinity. Well, we already wrote that, right? So it's actually just the same X. So that's approaching negative infinity. So that actually really turns our limit problem into a new limit problem that's a lot simpler. So the X is just the, just the X. Let's just leave it for now. And then what do we have inside? We have the seven minus now one over X score is approaching zero, right? So actually all those fractions, all those small fractions, right? Are approaching zero. So you get minus zero and then plus, and then the next one also another zero in red. Okay. How about the bottom? The bottom, there was a two, okay? And then minus, what about the five minus, I mean, five over X, not five minus X, five over X also approaching zero. And then, yes, this is really just all routine work, right? So this is just to show all that steps. I'm showing all the details right here. Okay, so as you can see here, we actually just get the seven X and then the two, right? as you can see. This is actually just, essentially, this is what, 7x over, over the 2, okay? Because the other 0, we can just ignore them. So this is essentially 7 over 2x. Well, now when x is approaching like the infinity, what happens? 7 over 2, they're both positive, and x is approaching like the infinity, so the final answer would be like the infinity. So what does that mean? That means when x is approaching like the infinity, this rational function is approaching like the infinity. The limit does not exist because this is not an actual number. And but we can still just write down the result for what this function is approaching to. So that's good. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this video. I will